Hi everyone, it's Megan Rose from the Philippines. This is just some kind of spur of the moment thing. Since we're back in ECQ and I don't know what type of videos to make. So I would just like to show you guys the different um, yarns that I was able to accumulate towards my podcasting. So when I was first uh, selling stuff downstairs, the yarn that I usually go to or use are these Monaco yarns here, which are mercerized cotton thread. They usually come with this label here. And sometimes they have multicolors to them. And the other one is called Canon. This is also a crochet thread. They are wounded up differently. This one here has a carton inside, and this one doesn't have. And they usually come in different shades, and they are usually 175 meters. I remember back then, uh, they only have 165, but now they added up 10. So they are manufactured here in the Philippines from the Monaco Manufacturing Corporation. And the first ones that I made from before looks like this. As you can see, they look tattered right now, but sometimes I still use them. So this is how thin it makes. And we usually use a steel hook to crochet with this type of yarn. So they are available here in Marikina. And I usually buy them from my suke, which is GST right now. Back then, they are called Gold Star. These are the ones that we use to make our projects from home economics, to make motifs and turn them into and turn them into tabletop. So this is the first one I want to show you, and the second one, which is now my go-to yarn, is an acrylic one. The label used to be in orange and red, but they changed it and turned them into love knots. Back then, they are called red heart yarns here. So, the packaging is now different, but they usually come in this 50 gram ball here. Or, the ones that are smaller, which are I think 18 grams. So I have here two samples. So they are called high bulk acrylic yarn. And you usually use a number four hook for this type of yarn. And I think they are from the same manufacturer of the Canon yarn, which is Manila Bay. See? They have the same label to it. So those are the first ones that I want to show you. I usually use this one for my projects, my gurumis. I wasn't really able to make more amigurumis in the mercerized cotton thread. So I use this ones. And I usually um, store them because you really can't afford them. They are only about 30 pesos to 35 pesos each for 50 gram ball. For the mercerized cotton thread, when I was younger, they are only 10 pesos or 20, but now they cost about 30 to 40 pesos for each ball. Then the next ones that I want to show you are the ones available from the next store from my suke. I don't have much of them. But the yarn is called Familia Yarn. So this is the one that I have as a sample for you guys. I think it is also an acrylic yarn, although I don't have the label right now. And they come in different colors and they have these big cakes. I think these are the remnants of a big cake yarn in maroon. And they also have that other one called Mayflower, which is a polyester yarn. You can tell because it stretches. So this is my sample for that. And I also have chenille yarn, which I think these are one of them. And this one is in variegated color. And they usually come in big cakes. 
So those are the ones available from the store near my suke. When I had a chance to go with my tita and my mama on one of her pilgrimage from church, we were able to buy some yarns from Baguio. I think I have bought 2 kilos of them. And I just picked out the colors that would be useful for me back then. I think I was trying to buy uh, colors that will I will make into amigurumi faces. So this is one of the biggest that is left right now, which is in khaki color. And this is called, if I'm not mistaken, a lana lawn yarn. Because you can tell because it has only one strand to it. And I think it is close to the thickness of a moisturized cotton thread. And the other ones is called Indofil yarn, which is really famous here right now in the Philippines. I was able to buy some of them from Rosario. And on Shopee, they are always available. And I think they are um, a little bit above the cost of us. Uh, Pan poly or fine cotton yarn. So this is the lana lo I this is the endofil yarn, which has four strands to it. And they say that this is acrylic yarn. So I don't know, but these are available also in Rosario. That's the only place that I'm able to purchase them aside from Baguio, hanger market in Baguio. So I just want to show you guys the differences. And the other unique yarn that I was able to purchase from there from there is called Bukle Yarn. Uh, the store owner told me that this is called Bukle Yarn. You can tell because of the loops it, that each strand has or makes. This is the last ball that I have for it. And these are bought from Baguio. And just recently... I was able to buy this uh, Lurex yarn here, as I call it. It was bought in a bundle, and you really needed to wind it up into a spool just like this one. And it really takes time to put it in here since you really need to untangle some uh, the strands of it. So this is my recent find, and I bought this from the lower... Uh, the under section of 999 mall there's a store there that has this special type of yarn this is the one i used for the snowflakes and recently the yo-yo motifs so this are one of the very a variety of yarns that i was able to store or purchase and then also from my from everson which is also one of my suke I have recently purchased some velvet yarns from there. And recently, I, I am using this for amigurumis. And they are really nice for amigurumis. Although, it's really hard to untangle them once you have crocheted them. So, these are in 100 gram ball. And they are from Eberson. It costs about 75 pesos each. And they have some in variety or in variegated colors or multicolored as you call it and the other one which i'm not able to use for now are these what i call pom-pom yarns so they are these yarns that has pom-pom on them in between this squiggly strand here i don't know how they make it but it reminds me of one of the yarns I saw from you guys. I think it is called Homespun, if I'm not mistaken. So for this one, I am still thinking what to make out of it. But I just want to show you. It is another variety from Everson. If you want to purchase them, they have other colors in them. And if I... Remember it right, this costs about 120 pesos each. The next ones that I want to show you guys are the, the yarns that I bought from Shopee, which is mainly uh, imported or exported from China. So they come from China, and I think some 
someone here in the Philippines also sells them now. Maybe they have purchased it in bulk or something. But when you buy it from China, it usually gets here, as they say, 7 to 15 days. But this ones, I was able to get them within a week. So they are this gold line yarn. They say here that it is wool. But it is some type of acrylic yarn to me. A little bit thicker than the love knots yarn. And they have lurex running along the strand. And I think they are also 50 gram balls. But I wouldn't be able to read the label. But they come in this, uh, in this way. It's really cool. <laughs> cool looking for me. So I still have two of them left. And they are the ones that I purchased from before and turned into tumbler holders and now I also have made tumbler holders out of them and the other ones this ones the milk cotton soft acrylic are also available in plain colors but the ones that I bought are in variegated ones since I really like the variegated ones that they have and they are 50 gram balls more or less uh, 52 or less than 50 grams and this they have this label here and then one of the yarns that I really wanted to buy more of uh, are what they call bamboo yarns and this is the only remaining I think from my past purchase when I opened the package with this yarn it really smells so good. It smells like uh, bamboo. <laughs> Since it is made of bamboo, I don't know. But the, this is the very nice smelling yarn that I have bought so far. And the softest too. I have made a rectangular shawl out of it that I turned into a blanket also. So this is also one of the yarns that are available from China that I was able to purchase. Okay, so this next one so I want to share with you guys are the ones that I don't usually use often but they are very useful for you when you want to make some project. Recently, um, Sophie and I made a tree for her project and we used some of this as some type of garland for her for the Christmas tree. And this ones, I think they are called butterfly or harada yarns. But I think Ate Pats calls it a butterfly yarn or fancy yarns. Uh, she's the one who gift this, gifted this to me. And I don't usually use them but they are kind of uh, useful for when you want to embellish your crochet items. So I still have one in this gold here. And then there's this other one which is in a khaki colored one and they she's able to acquire this from ice yarns she lives in bohol but i think she was able to order from ice yarn and then i don't often use this as you can see it still has the label on it even if it is torn a bit uh, and then the other ones i think this other one has other colors to it but i was able to incorporate it to amigurumi's i I think I made some, um, what you call it, porcupine or a hedgehog. I was able to use the other colors, but these are the ones that are left. And I think this ones came from Miss Jan. And then there's these two other ones, which when you feel it, hangs a bit, it feels a bit like you're squishing plastic. I don't know. But this ones, I think Miss Margaret gift this, gifted this to me and she told me that maybe I can use something out of it. So this ones are really useful when you want to embellish uh, projects from school. Like the ones that um, Sophie had lately. So those are the yarns that I want to share with you guys. I just wanted to make a video so I can document them in some way. And also to show you guys uh, different available yarns here in the Philippines. The other ones that I didn't require from here and on from China are the ones that is gifted to me from Miss Shirley. I still have some of them. 
but you can buy it in the US so I know that most of you live in the US and you are already familiar with them so I just want to show you guys the different uh, variety of yarns that I am able to acquire I know that Miss um, Jen Sherry of Star Lily Creations put together a different type of yarns and she makes some awesome stuff so I don't know what other yarns that are available there but I'm hoping that I can just share this to you guys and since it is still ECQ I'm thinking of videos to make and in my dream I always have this different type of ideas so now this is just a spur of the moment thing and I just want to share it to you guys in some way so that's it for now today it is sunny it's not raining we have um today is holy tuesday and it's very hot in here right now so i just want to share this to you guys i hope you guys have a fine day today crafting and enjoying your time that's it from me bye for now and of course i forget stuff so i often forget stuff that i want to add between podcasts but i wasn't able to do that so i just want to add up this yarns here this is a mohair yarn that i also was able to make a hedgehog out of this but i still have some left over and then there's my recent acquired yarn is a fine cotton yarn in plain colors these are stranded and not light they have eight strands to each of them and I have different colors. They are cheaper than Indofil yarns and Spun Poly yarns. I was uh, hoping to buy some Spun Poly next time in different colors. And those ones are shinier than this. So these are fine cotton. They are available here in the Philippines. And the last one that I wasn't able to add up is this one. Which is... Uh, from uh, mohi, mohair type of or wool type of yarn that Miss Margaret gave me I took off some of them and then I separated this one which is some type of ribbon yarn they look like this so I still have some of them and I think Ate has borrowed some of it from me and used it on a different project so I still have this stored lying around and those are the three that I have forgotten to add.